And welcome friends to this video, we're gonna be drawing a one point perspective grid with perfect squares. What I have here is Procreate, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna have a few steps. First, we're going to be drawing the horizontal line and station point. Then we will start drawing the horizontal lines and the 45 degree angle lines. And then lastly, we'll do the vanishing point grid lines. All right, so what I have here is the first layer. I'm going to draw the horizontal line. If I hold my finger, it'll snap to, so I get a horizontal line. Then, roughly in the center, I will start with our one perspective, our one point perspective vanishing point, and we'll come down from there with a vertical line, and this will be our station point. Now that we have that, we will draw a 45 degree angle from the station point to the horizon line on each side. I'm going to do a new layer and a new color, so we're gonna hide this later uh, away from the grid. So if I start here at the station point and come up to the vanishing point, and then I tap and hold 15, 30, 45, this will give us our 45 degree right vanishing point. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing. Start here at the station point and do a 45 degree angle. And this will be our left vanishing point. 45 degrees. All right, now that we have that, we can start to draw our horizontal lines. So I'm gonna come back to this layer and this color. And I can pick anywhere up here, roughly the bottom of our square will be our first horizontal line. And then it'll eventually, they'll get smaller and smaller as they go toward the vanishing point. So roughly there can be any size. I'll snap and hold here about like so. And then I will draw a couple vanishing points to each of these corners of the square. And since we've did the 45 degree angle, these are going to be equal in size. All right, now the next step we're gonna do is kind of a stair step type method where we're going to draw the horizontal lines and the right angle lines to build out our van right vanishing point guidelines. So I'm gonna switch between colors here And the first part, we're gonna go from the left part of this beginning square to the right vanishing point. And then I will switch back to the other color and we're gonna do another horizontal line on the right side of this beginning of our square and do another horizontal line. Right here, what we have is our first perfect square. And now we're going to continue up the vanishing point and build the rest of the grid by doing the left right uh, stair set. Starting from the left bottom of the square to the right vanishing point, and then another horizontal line on the right. So I'll go ahead and do those and speed it up. All right, I'll go ahead and stop there. As you can see, it's really starting to converge as it gets far off into the distance. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw the lines to the left vanishing point using the opposite method. So starting from the right bottom of the triangle up to the left vanishing point. Now that I have all of those guidelines, we can go ahead and finish the rest of these vanishing points. 
Oops. by connecting from the vanishing point to the intersection here. And then I'll just keep going up the vanishing point here over to the right, and then I'll do the ones over to the left. All right, now that we have all of our vanishing points done, I will go ahead and hide our angle and I'll go ahead and hide our station point. And we have our perfect square grid. So each one of these squares are going to be the same in size, which is really useful when we go to scale objects in perspective. And I will be doing future videos on those. So for example, if this one was five feet wide, it would be five feet in depth. Same thing here, five feet, five feet, all of these squares would be similar. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave those in the comments. I'll be doing future videos talking about how we scale objects in perspective and I'm gonna be doing figures and drawing people with foreshortening. So this will all lead to that series. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you next time.